it will be uh, pretty groundbreaking if it goes as we expect. But this is the kind of thing we're not looking to prove that the Earth is flat, for example. You know, that's not the way you know, it's a conversation we have every week. When we, uh, that's not what we're doing. Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing good today. This video will contain copyright material being used underneath Fairy Sack for educational purposes. There you go. A little little uh, truth from Jaron, huh? Because FE Core isn't out to try to prove the Earth is flat. No, they're just out putting out propaganda. That's right. Putting out propaganda to further divide the flat earthers and to further divide the globe earthers and the flat earthers all in one shot. So anyways, let's uh, get started with um, more of their lies. As you heard from Jaron, they're not out to prove flat earth. They're just entrepreneurs trying to make money in the flat earth community. You know, Jaron uses YouTube for his personal ATM. You know, he couldn't afford to move because he got bad credit. And then when he found a house, he had they paid double the deposit and he didn't have the money for it. So he had to come to YouTube and make a video crying that he's being so wronged. Utter nonsense. So let's get started here. Um, they call it success. The laser reaches 12 kilometers. What is success, ladies and gentlemen? Success is anything you want it to be. It could be wealth. It could be uh, freedom. It could be... Uh, you know, marriage and a family, um, you know, it could be made up too, much like it's made up here. There's no success in this laser test FE Core did. Remember, their guidelines were this was going to be the most sophisticated hit, uh, test, uh, laser test in history. This ain't even scientific because all they did was shine a light across the freaking lake and said, oh, if I could see the light, the light it's flat. Just like I said, this would all be back in my uh, FE course, Pseudoscience Part 1 and Part 2. I called this out for the bullshit it was long ago. Long ago, I seen right through all their sh their bullshit. Their lies, their deception. I mean, from the beginning, they passed this off as the first time this is ever attempted. That's a lie. They did this experiment back in 2016 at Lake Balaton with the same laser that they claim they just got in 2008 in January of 2018 and it cost them five thousand dollars I mean the lies are just one lie after another after another after another and then you hear Jaron they ain't even out to prove flat earth so they claim success at 12 kilometers well this ain't success because this was supposed to be a 66 kilometer test with six teams of uh, uh, four teams of six people spread out by kilometer along the frozen lake drilling holes into the lake measuring from the the water level up to the beam then going down another few kilometers and repeating the same step that's what the, the test was supposed to be and this is nothing like it so there is no success and you know what there is no certified success at 12 kilometers when they say success, that they got a world record at 12 kilometers, that's a lie. Let's listen to Bob. Um, we had mixed success uh, with the experiment. Um, we did get, we did actually set a Guinness uh, world record. That's a lie. It's not a Guinness world record. It's a Hungarian record across Lake Balaton. That's it. And it's not 12 kilometers. It's 4.7 miles, the distance between the lake across the distance across the lake but there you have it um let's listen to more you know they cry uh, about we cold weather too for that um we got a we got an absolute positive lock on at a 12 kilometer um measurement on the lake we did not make our there's no measurement what measurement bob please show me your measurements you shined a light across the freaking lake and you said oh I can see the light it must be flat big deal there was no measurements 66 and honestly when you if you see the video and I think probably at some point we may make that public I'm not sure that's up to Mike um, but um, boy I'll tell you the conditions were grueling freezing um, fog it was ugly everybody now get this freezing fog grueling conditions 
what did they expect? They wanted a frozen lake. Did they expect 70 degree weather, sunshine, and a frozen lake? Huh, Bob? Now your guys are trying to get pity because the conditions were so brutal? The lake didn't even freeze all the way. People think the lake froze all the way. No, it didn't freeze all the way. Just the shallow areas. It was still susceptible to uh, break up due to uh, the uh, tides coming and going. And then the melting during the daytime. Because they couldn't walk on the lake. Because like I said, it's rare for the entire lake to freeze over to where you can walk on the entire lake. Out in the deep water, it wasn't frozen. So anyways, yeah, now they're crying because the conditions were so brutal. What did you expect? And now when I think about it, you did this in the worst conditions possible. It would have made more sense to do this in the summertime. Because now you're doing this in wet, dense, heavy air. That's going to be manipulate the beam uh, gr a, a lot more than if you would have done this in sunshine. So, I mean, the lies and the bullshit just pile up here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep listening to Bob here. I think there's a little bit more. He was sick. It was uh, it was pretty bad. High winds. Um, geez, I, geez. Just really bad conditions. But um, they did have um, success to some degree. Not, of course, what we were hoping for with the 66. However, I do know that this wasn't success. You didn't set any historic records. This wasn't historical like you guys claimed it was going to be. It was a total failure, a failure that you're trying to pass off as a success. If this was a success, Bob and 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 um, Jaron would have spent oh the le next two Globuster shows showcasing this whole thing. Instead, they spent maybe two minutes on it, and then another five minutes bashing me and and uh. uh um, Eric Dubé at IFers. You know why they're bashing us? Because we were right. I was right. I called this out long ago. I said this is going to be nothing more than you could see the light. The earth is flat then. And that's all it was and it wasn't even at 12 kilometers. Just uh, uh, bullshit and lies. And here's their, their 2016 across Lake Balaton. They, they knew what these lasers were going to do and weren't going to do and all that other shit. This is just complete and utter fuckery. Let me show you something here. Um, here you go. I believe a happy birthday to Professor Brian Clox. Just for you, a sneak peek at FE Core official verified world record laser shot. 7.7 .7 miles or kilometers. 4.7 miles. It's not the 12 kilometers, seven and a half miles like Bob and everybody else claims it is. Just another freaking lie. They've been lying from the get-go. No earth curvature. Unlike Mr. Stephen Hawking's fake test. Well, this test was just as fake as Stephen Hawking's. So there you go. Now you learn it's not even a world record. I'll show you it ain't even a world record. Here you go. Beijing, China, the, the 2011, September 7, 2011, the S3 Krypton from Wicked Lasers delivers enough punch to send the beam 85 miles. That's the world record, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not the world record anymore because now they say NASA or whoever made that laser and shined it at the moon and it reflected back was the longest distance world record, which is bullshit. So why would FE Corps want to go into these uh, corrupt organizations like, uh, you know, uh, Guinness World Book of Records and want to set a record with them? Do you think you're going to get a fair shake? You already know they're corrupt. They posted that laser bullshit. You see the nonsense and all this? And anyways, their test is no big freaking deal because somebody did it in 2011 with a one watt laser. Now pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen. Now you now now Bob told us. Let me get over here. And let me show you this. I suspected. I said in my uh, FE core is pseudoscience part one and part two. I suspected the reason why this laser is so expensive is because it's used for laser light shows. And this picture here just proves my suspicions right. 
because here you could see this clearly hooks up to a computer it clearly puts out green blue red and white the one back here has green tape on it the one over here has green tape on it so they obviously had backup uh, uh, conductors or power supplies or whatever you'd want to call this thing and they obviously hook up to computers so they can be programmed for the light show you want to put on so they didn't need a light show laser to do this they didn't need this laser and the idea that they got it you got Bob saying in January that FE core just got their brand new laser for the experiment and it was custom built for this it's all freaking lies it's custom built for light shows and I'll show you it's all fucking lies because here we are like I say back in 2017 uh, 2016 there's that same laser it ain't nothing new they already had it and they already used it for this same test and they did the same 4.7 miles back in 2016 they just repackage this and act like fe core spent a lot of money on this and all this other crap the only thing they spent money on was travel that's it a vacation for all these little fe core, core clowns they even sent karen there why would you send karen there huh <laughs> look at this it's a bunch of clowns mike cavanaugh you know sandor zandusky or whatever his name is i don't know which one is dr zach i sure would like to know that still don't even know if he's a real doctor but i haven't seen any degrees but there you go folks i mean there's so much i gotta cover here i have to do a couple parts otherwise i have a 40 50 minute video and i hate doing 40 50 minute videos i'd rather break it up in two but there you go let me see if there's any more i want to show you here in part one um this is like i said this is in 2016 same laser they already had it um yeah i'll show you that later now check this out this is a bold lie the document is a is about a hungarian record set at 7.7 .7 kilometers not the 12 kilometers like they claim success at from a balcony nothing to do with the curvature the document clearly states step by step now pay attention here folks because this goes to globe earthers they could say hey this is proof the earth is clear curved because the document clearly states step by step how they failed to set any record at long distances and they did only one successful demonstration at 7.7 .7 kilometers so that means everything past 7.7 .7 kilometers was behind the curve do you see where I'm going and do you see where globe earthers are gonna go with this okay even though all this is faulty um, it's not even science it's just bull it's just it's just fuckery that's all this 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 is bunch of entrepreneurs looking to cash in on the flat earth community because they know there's oh a million or two flat earthers in hell if I can get 20 bucks out of half of those two million flat earthers man, that's 20 million bucks do you see what's going on here in the flat earth community folks okay let's see if there's any other pictures here oh yeah there's other pictures let me uh, get to this one here what the hell is this the dra the laser dropped over the 12 kilometers really so are you proving concave earth or clay or curved earth here do you see because this ain't proven flat earth it starts out at 2.2 .2 meters and it dropped down to 1.5 you see the fuckery here and then this is the biggest thing I have seen that just makes me sick to my stomach that these clowns listen this the day before the 12 kilometer distance was achieved now understand the day that this the the certification officials were there they failed at 12 kilometers and so on 66 and whatever other distances they did at okay they failed but they're trying to tell you the next day after the after the officials left the third party officials left we got the 12 kilometer distance we were, we were shooting for but that's not what caught my eye really here let me officials certified a fe core laser at 7.7 .7 kilometers 4.78 miles which set the hungarian record for handheld 
handheld lasers. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a handheld laser. They didn't, they said they needed this, this, this specially built laser for this experiment when they didn't even use it. They used a handheld and set a handheld, not a world record, a handheld Hungarian record across Lake Balaton. Because like I say, the world record for a laser, a one watt laser, nothing special. Maybe it was special back in 2011, but a one watt laser reached 85 miles. But I got a lot more to cover, folks. You know, there's a lot more fuckery, as I like to call it. So make sure you stick around for part two. Because I got a little voice clip from uh, Bob, too. And Bob's defending, the, defending and protecting government and their corporations. We'll see you around for part two. Have a good day, everybody.